for anonymous, you cite some of the words that are in the title. This will usually be the title of the book or the title of the article, which is similar to APA. Remember, you use quotation marks around something that is part of something bigger. So a chapter uses quotation marks, but a book in a chapter, the book uses underline or italics. So for example, here, on free hair, then we cite study finds 128. So study finds is probably a, uh, an article in a newspaper or a smaller chapter in a larger book. So we use the quotation marks and then the page that this information is on is page 127. The book College Bound Seniors, and here we have a book, so the book uses italics, that is writing at the angle. And the pages we're looking at are 132 to 133. Try not to cite anonymous using the word anonymous. That's different in APA, but in MLA, it's discouraged to use the word anonymous. Books and reports are italicized or underlined, as we just said. So let's look at another example here. Reading at Risk, a survey of literary reading and in America. So here we can see that beginning from right here all the way down to America, the words there are italic, which is the same as underline, remember? And that means that's the title of something larger, like a book. So inside this book, it notes that despite an apparent decline in reading during the same period, and here's a quotation, the number of people doing creative writing of any genre, not exclusively literary works, increased substantially between 1982 and 2002. End of quotation. So this is a quotation, so we need to say where did that quotation come from. And it's, it is inside that book, but we need to be specific. So here it's the chapter inside the book, which is called Chapter Reading 3. We know it's a chapter because it has quotation marks around it. So this may actually be a very specific piece of that book that just says this bit here. Psychological issues have been cited as a major source of societal cost, the price of insanity, 56. So page 56, and a chapter or a part of something bigger, chapter of a book maybe, or an article inside of something bigger.